Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on simulating 2D laminar flow in a channel using open foam. In this tutorial, I will show you 2D geometry of channel, meshing the geometry, solving and post processing results in Paraview, and validation using analytic result. To record this tutorial, I am using Linux operating system Ubuntu version 12.04. Open Foam version 2.1.1, Paraview version 3.12.0. Note that Open Foam version 2.1.1 is supported on Ubuntu version 12.04. Henceforth, all the tutorials will be covered using Open Foam version 2.1.1 and Ubuntu version 12.04. As a prerequisite for this tutorial, you should know how to create geometry using open foam. If not, please refer to the relevant tutorial on our website. We simulate flow in a channel to determine flow development length along the downstream. Channel flow problem description. The boundary names and the inlet conditions are as shown in the figure. The flow development length is given by the formula L equal to 0 0.05 times RE that is the Reynolds number and D which is the channel height. Using the formula, the length of the channel comes out to be 5 meters and height is kept as 1 meter. The inlet velocity is 1 meters per second and we are solving this for a Reynolds number RE equal to 100. This is a steady state problem. Therefore, we are using a steady state incompressible solver for this case. This is the file structure of our case. The folder should be created in the solver type that we choose. I have already created a folder in simple foam folder of incompressible flow solvers. The folder is named as channel. Now, let me switch to the folder. Copy zero constant and system folders of any other case in the simple foam directory. I have copied the file structure of the case pitch daily. Paste it inside the channel folder and make the necessary changes in the geometry, boundary faces and boundary condition. Now let me open the command terminal. To do this, press Ctrl Alt and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. In the terminal type run and press enter. Now type cd space tutorials and press enter. Now type cd space incompressible and press enter. Type cd space simple foam and press enter. Now type cd space channel and press enter. Now type ls and press enter. You will see three folders, zero constant and system. Now type cd space constant and press enter. Now type ls and press enter. In this, you will see the files containing properties of fluid and a folder named polymesh. RAS properties contains Reynolds average stress model. Transport properties contain the transport model. The kinematic viscosity that is new in this case is set as 0.01 meter square per second. Now, in a terminal type cd space polymesh and press enter. Now type ls and press enter. You will see the block mesh dict file here. To open up the block mesh dict file in the terminal type gedit space block mesh dict and press enter. Scroll down. The geometry is in meters. So the convert to meters is set to 1. Next we have defined the vertices of the channel. 
we have used 100 by 100 mesh size here and the cell spacing is kept as 111. Next we have set up the boundary conditions and the types which are inlet, outlet, top and bottom. As this is a 2D geometry, front and back are kept as empty. Also this being a simple geometry, merge patch pairs and edges are to be kept empty. Close the block mesh dict file. In the command terminal type cd space dot dot and press enter. Again type cd space dot dot and press enter. Now in the terminal type cd space zero and press enter. Now type ls and press enter. This contains the initial boundary condition and wall function for the channel case. It should contain various files such as epsilon, k, nut, nu tilde which are the wall function and p, r and capital U which are the initial conditions of the flow. Now let me switch back to the slides. Calculate K which is the turbulent kinetic energy from the formula given in the slide where Ux, Uy and Uz are the velocity components in the x, y and z direction and U dash is 0 0.05 times U actual. Calculate epsilon from the formula given where epsilon is the rate of dissipation of turbulent energy. C mu is a constant and its value is 0 0.09 and L is the length of the channel. Let me minimize this. Change only the boundary names in each of the above files. Note that the value of NUT, NU tilde, R are kept to be default. Rest of the file should contain the initial value for each of the boundary faces. Now in the terminal type cd space dot dot and press enter. There are no changes to be done in the system folder. Now we need to mesh the geometry. To do this in the command terminal type block mesh and press enter. The meshing is done. Now let me switch back to the slide. The type of solver we are using here is simple foam. It is a steady state solver for incompressible and turbulent flows. Let me minimize this. In the command terminal type simple foam and press enter. Iterations running will be seen in the command terminal. The iterations running may take some time. The iterations will stop once the solution is converged or it reaches its end time value. To view the results in paraview in the terminal type parafoam and press enter. This will open up the paraview window. On the left hand side of the paraview window click apply. The geometry can be seen here. On top of the active variable control menu change the drop down menu from solid color to capital U. You can see the initial state of velocity magnitude at inlet. On top of the paraview window click on the play button of the VCR control. You can see the final value of the velocity magnitude. Also toggle on the color legend from the left hand side top of the active variable control menu. Click apply again. Now go to display. Scroll down. You can see rescale. Click on it. We can see that once the flow has fully developed it attains a maximum uniform velocity at the center. Now let me switch back to the slide. The results obtained can be validated with the analytical solution for laminar flow in a channel which is U max is 1.5 times U average. Using open foam we obtained a result of U max equal to 1.48 meters per second which is a good match. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. In this tutorial we learned the file structure of channel, obtained solution using steady state solver, viewed the geometry in paraview, 
and validation with analytical result. As an assignment, solve the problem for Reynolds number is equal to 1500 and validate with analytical result. Watch the video available at this URL. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this URL. This is Rahul Joshi from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.